Hello folks, it's Ron. Ron's beer reviews and tools and this isn't a beer review right now. It's going to be uh, some comparisons dealing with eggnog. Uh, this will be interesting. You won't be seeing my ugly mug, you'll be seeing my hands and my, my arms. Probably most of the, the comparison. So, hope you all had a, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I basically would be seeing is the desktop and uh, the ingredients here for this uh, comparison on regular eggnog and eggnog that is already spiked. This is spiked with three uh, alcohol, uh, uh, rum, brandy, and blended whiskey. This is just pure, pure eggnog. And this is what we'll be spiking it with. This is the rum. Old Man of the Mountain, Blackstrap Dark Rum. It's a New England style. This is a, this decanter is a, made in the shape of Old Man of the Mountain, which is gone now, it collapsed. Used to be a tourist site up in New Hampshire and uh, a favorite of taking photos, but it had collapsed. This will be the rum. Which left of the my Christian brandy, I do enjoy this, this uh, brand Christian Brothers brandy. This is the brandy, and the bourbon will be Woodford Reserve Double Bake Barrel Finish Selection, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, finished in a second oak barrel. Uh, this and the rum, the old man in the mountain decanted that. These are from my son. He had given these over the years. And uh, thank you, Dan. This is this year here, one of the Christmas presents. And I received the uh, old man in the mountain, uh, I think it was uh, Father's Day a uh, year ago. Uh, both are really nice. I enjoy them. Okay, let's get on with the comparison. So we have the alcohol drinks. And uh, the first one we're going to do is, now I'm not going to, most pots when you have uh, for a single serving of, uh, or two servings of eggnog that's spiked, it's five pots eggnog and one and a half, a two I think now, one and a half uh, alcohol. So I'm going to knock that down a little bit as I'll be drinking quite a bit of uh, <laughs> alcohol and eggnog. Alright, first up, let's get the, the eggnog in. Alright, I think this is how we're going to kind of do the eggnog. Okay. It's kind of a lot. We also have nutmeg that'll be going in the drinks. Okay, I poured one glass, and uh, it's, it's pots usually five to one, five eggnog to one um, alcohol that you're putting in. So I'm going to put the um, same thing, but not in uh, ounce cases or cup cases, just uh, a little bit less than that. Okay, this is this is the the rum. Just the rum is in this here, and a little bit of nutmeg. Okay, shake it up this way here. Bottoms up. That's good. Ah, that's good. Okay, that is the rum. The next one we're going to do will be the brandy. Growing up, I always thought brandy was the only spirit that was in the uh, nutmeg. 
but uh, I find they got older. No. Little nutmeg. The brandy. This may be a little bit stronger, this one here. So. Okay. This is the brandy. Bottoms up. Oh, that's good. Mm, that is good. I do like the brandy in there. I think I like that better than the rum. Okay, the third one will be the bourbon. Eggnog. Some nutmeg. Oh, that smells good. That smells really good. Again, thank you, Dan, for the gift of the bourbon. Woodford Reserve. I think we'll just uh, put a little more eggnog in. Clean up some of my mess here so it'll get too sticky. Shake that up. Stir it up, I should say, in a way. Okay. That's the it's the bourbon. Bottoms up. Ooh, that is to the point. I've had this many times, but that's what was in it. Bourbon whiskey. Mm. Over the years of being a family and friends and other places and parties, this is what I've tasted. Yep. Okay. So those are the three. Now, the final will be... A glass of Winter Haven Farms eggnog with all three D ingredients inside of it already. To be fair, I'm going to put a little bit more egg, egg uh, nutmeg in the glass. Okay. Went to Haven Farms. Eggnog. Bottoms up. It's flavorful. You do taste. You know the alcohol is in this. You know the. You can tell this is spiked. You could with the other, other three. 
But this has a, a blend in it from the other three. And it's different. So what I will do, I'll put all these three together. And they all have the, the brandy, the bourbon, and the rum in them. And I'm surely drinking a lot of eggnog here today. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Bottoms up. Oh, that's good. That's good. They definitely didn't skimp on the spirits in this. This is, uh, you can taste. There was definitely, uh, this is a good spiked eggnog. I do like the flavor of this eggnog. Um, maybe it's uh, better ingredients as far as the eggs and the amount of eggs, etc. I don't know. I'm just surmising. This may have more alcohol than what I've been putting on these ones here. So comparison wise, this is a good drink. This seems a little thicker. Mm. That is really good. Um, I drank a lot of eggnog today. Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> I have drank a lot of eggnog. I like this here. I would get this again. If I don't feel like mixing it up myself, I would get this again. Definitely. Matter of fact, I would definitely get this and store bought eggnog. Hopefully, I could get this again. The Upstate Farms. I like this. This is really tasty, thick. Uh, this is thinner, and I don't know if that's because of the way it's processed with the amount of uh, spirits in this. But uh, I do like both these products. I do like this Christmas coming up next year, 2021. I will get one of each and uh, let uh, the visitors, let them uh, try it, see what they uh, think about it. All right, so I'll end this right here. You've seen my uh, different kinds. I do like, uh, right, with just one of the the spirits in the, the uh, eggnog, it'd be the brandy. I like the brandy the best in it. The um, bourbon, that was a taste that if you have a bourbon drinker and a whiskey drinker, which I'm really not, um, I will sip on it once in a while. I'll get a little shot glass and, uh, and sip on it. But uh, brandy, I put a little bigger glass when I drink brandy. I do enjoy brandy. And um, that's my taste buds now. These are my taste buds. Excuse me. So, if I was just pick one, it would be homemade. I mean, I make homemade spiked eggnog with a store bought eggnog. I'd like to get this again. This is nice and thick. I've had a couple of other ones that didn't seem as good as this earlier this year. From Thanksgiving to New Year's, I think you can get the purchase of the eggnog and the brandy. I like Christian Brothers Brandy. It's what I drink. Um, so, with that said, I hope you all, like I said, had a, a very Merry Christmas in uh, upcoming New Year's. Um, have a better 2021 than 2020. And hopefully this uh, this vaccine that's out will eradicate this coronavirus that uh, came from China. We'll just get rid of it. So, um, have a Merry Christmas. I mean... <laughs> I hope you're it's getting to me. So um, have a happy New Year. And if you're going to drink through New Year's, don't drive. Don't run any equipment. Enjoy drinking, but party and stay with the party and let someone else do the driving or get a taxi. Uh, someone that doesn't drink, but don't drink and drive. The life to save could be anybody's, including your own. All right, folks. Happy New Year. Ciao.